Welcome back to Train Pro's video tip of the day for Xactimate. Today we're going to cover sketch levels and layers in Xactimate. So let's start off. Well, what is the difference between a sketch layer and a sketch level? Well, at the bottom of your sketch screen, you have the the drop-down box for your sketch layers. And then the tabs to the right are your sketch levels. Big question is, is well, why do we care about that? Well, let's kind of show you what we need to do with sketch levels and sketch layers and why it's going to make a difference to you. So basically, it's going to control the flow of your estimate. Let's take a look at an estimate tree here. What it's going to do is separates the main dwelling from any detached structures. And then it's going to order the structure by floor. Our first floor, our second floor, and then by the roof. And you'll do that for each structure. Again with the interior and the main roof. So let's go take a look inside of Xactimate now and see uh, an example of how you would lay this out. Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and talk about sketch layers and levels and the differences between them when you build your estimate tree. So starting out in Xactimate in an estimate, you'll see I just basically have my estimate name, and this one just named estimate tree, and my main level. So when I come back in here, and you'll see up top here, my name of my estimate is called estimate tree, so that's what populates the top of your your project right here in your groupings tree and then down here is my main level so when I go ahead and drop a a room on main level you'll see here that it populates as room one under the my main level okay You'll also see by default sketch one. So here's the difference between the sketch layers and our levels. The sketch layer, let's think of that as a, a separate structure generally for each sketch is what you would want to do. So if we go down here and we say let's rename sketch one, let's call this the main dwelling. So let's just say main dwelling. And so now our sketch is called main dwelling. So let's go back in our estimate tree and you'll see we're still under the main level at this point for our main sketch because we only have one sketch at this time. I'm going to right click onto here and what I would suggest you do is call this what it is. Let's just say this may be the first floor. It could be the main level if there's only one level is maybe it's the first floor, maybe it's the basement you're working, maybe it's the second floor you're going to work, but name this level that you're working on, whatever level it may be. So I'm going to call this the first floor. Okay, and I'll go ahead and drop a couple of rooms in here. I'm going to say we got our living room. And maybe off our living room, we, um, we'll go ahead and drop in a, a dining room. And maybe we'll size up that living room here a little ways and we'll drop our kitchen area in here. And maybe off that kitchen area we got us a little breakfast room coming off the back side here or a breakfast nook. Okay. And we can go ahead and put a missing wall between here. Let's put us a little... A little doorway in here and we'll do a missing wall for portion of this right here okay just so we have our our first floor layout so if we go back here and look under estimate items you see on the first floor we have our living dining kitchen and breakfast nook so now if we want to hit the plus right here let's say we have a second floor now you'll see we get the first floor and second floor. Again, these are our levels 
in the sketch of the main dwelling. So now if I want to go ahead and drop in a room right above, and maybe this here is a game room up on the second floor, and maybe we'll go ahead and do a, another room up here that's maybe a maybe it's the second floor bath or the, uh, maybe it's the guest bathroom and then maybe off of here we've got a bedroom over here maybe it's the guest bedroom and that goes over to you know, maybe we'll have a, a door into here, and then we also have a door into here, and another door into here. So now if we go and look at our estimate tree, you'll see on our first floor, these are the rooms on our first floor. On our second floor, these are the rooms on our second floor. So you see how it starts breaking it out here, okay? Then maybe on the main dwelling, I have another layer, and this is going to be our roof. And so when we go ahead and drop our roof on here, maybe we'll just drop us a little gable roof here. We'll do a little break. And we have maybe a, a little gable extension coming off of it as well. And we'll snap that right in. Okay, so if we look at this in 3D view as well, and we look at all the levels <clears throat> you'll see all three levels here are now lined up on top of each other by doing first floor second floor and the roof now you can change the properties of each level when you're creating it and say how high basically those ceilings are going to be so if it was this is assuming an eight foot ceiling if we had nine foot ceilings and ten foot ceilings we'd have to change the elevation of the additional L of the additional levels as we go along okay so that's basically our main dwelling. But let's say we want to also have a detached garage. So let's go ahead and do a second sketch. And we're going to rename that. And we'll call it either detached structures or we'll just say a detached garage. And on here maybe on the detached garage we're going to go ahead and rename that level from main level we'll go ahead and call that uh, interior and this is actually just the garage itself the interior of the garage and we can add a say level above there for the roof and we'll drop us a little roof on here. Let's tab it around. And we'll change that roof one. We'll call it, you know, just plain roof. But now when we go look at our estimate items, you're going to see under the main dwelling, we have our first floor, second floor, and the roof. And on our detached garage, we have the interior and the roof. So you'll see how it broke it out now by the individual sketches that we had. So when this estimate actually prints out, it'll be a lot easier to understand format, not only for the homeowner, but also for your reviewer and the insurance company itself. So we have a main dwelling with our first floor, second floor, and the roof. And then our detached garage with the interior and the roof. And again, we did that by doing different sketches, one for the main dwelling and one for the detached garage. And then within each of those, we did it by levels within that sketch, first floor, second floor, and roof. So that's pretty much a good tip on how sketch layers and sketch levels work within Xactimate. Hope you have a great day out that way and look forward to seeing you next time.